Bo, by the way, you stressed out? Uh, Yo, no, Randy. What's up, pussy boy, bitch? How's it going? Okay, I'm gonna call back. I'm gonna call me back with that with a different energy. Guy says, "What's up, pussy boy, bitch? What's going on?" No. I like the way you uh, you handled that. Though. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty alpha. Pretty alpha, right? Oh, cherry ping me. We're on the way. Randy. Oh my God, big puppy Rama. <laughs> What's, hey, what's up, baby? Oh, yeah, baby, what's your Okay, okay. Uh, I'm doing an interview right now with Charity uh, alongside Dean Watson about business people and shit. It's gonna be good. About um, business people? Yeah, I'm about to enter the building right now. Oh, oh you're doing like uh, Weasel News? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I fucking told the interview lady to ask a bunch of questions about Leslie Lindbergh and how he's like a shit business owner to Dean and stuff. Huh. She's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be gonna ambush journalism. I also gave Dean a bunch of pills, so he's gonna pop all these pills and go into the interview. He's gonna shit. Oh, fucking shit. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, after server, let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, got you. I got you. Hi. Right. Yo, I went. Peace. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. No, 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 nothing, nothing. I, right, nothing new. All right. I, I, all right. I'll call you when it's done. Give me like twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Peace. <clears throat> you wanna pop? This where we're supposed to be. Yeah, I guess it's the blue doors. Oh, you wanna join? Nah, I'm good here. Oh no, I got I got six already. Damn. You got six? Yeah, same. Just get all six. Good shit, bro. Fuck. Let's get in there. <laughs> Let's get in. Oh shit! What's I can't this one do? This no. one do. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what is it? Dean, let's go do this interview. Oh, let's, go, let's go to this interview, Dean. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, clean your fucking mouth up, bro. Clean your mouth up, bro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Dean. Guys. <clears throat> oh, green screen. Holy shit. I can see my breath. Oh, my. You have to guide. Oh, my God. I Fuck. Let me hold on to you. You're shiny as fuck. Yeah, I can't see shit. Hey, guys. How you doing today? Hey, hey guys. Welcome. Hey, guys. We'd like to hold hands. That's how it is. Charity. That's how you guys normal. doing? Hello. How are you nice guys to, doing? Nice today? to see you guys. How are you guys doing today? You guys are matching. It's oh. kind of cute, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be dope. It's going to be... <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You need a mitt. Where'd your hair go? Off for you. <sighs> I mean, guys, if you want, you know, Dylan could just replace those two chairs with the couch, and you guys can sit next to each other if you no, want. No, I mean, sure, know. sure. Well, we'll sit next to each other. That's fine. Come on, Dean. Let's... Oh, actually, uh... we have the, the three chairs set up. Uh, I mean, of that's course. Good. Yeah, that's cool. uh, the three chair setup is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let's go. We got some right. some whiskey here. If you guys uh, are let interested. Let me get a tic tac here real quick. Just... Oh, what the fuck, man? What the hell is wrong with you? This is a fucking dick. Uh, <laughs> you're puking on my camera. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that'll... Yeah. God, what the fuck? God, what the fuck was that? What the... Yeah. No, you what the fuck oh, was that? Why is it so fucking cold in there? Fuck. All right, let's go to this. Let's do this interview, guys. Why can't I see my breath? Let's do this interview. Well, it's cold in here. All Why right. Why is it so cold? Okay, so where do you guys want us to sit? It's like a Jennifer Aniston thing. Uh, uh pick left you guys... or... Yeah. Dean, oh, how do you want us to, for the interview? Yeah. You want us, me and Dean sit next to each other yeah, and you sit here? There's actually a shower and everything. You guys can in the, sit you, on left or right. Or okay. Right if you really want to sit, yeah. So, but make sure you're What's sitting on like, the right side of the okay. chair. Okay, just puked all over the place. All right, Dean, come on. I puked all over my goddamn floor and then threw a cigarette in it. Where am I going? I guess it's right there. You got it all ready? Yeah, I can't see anything. You can't see anything? All right, yeah, come, Dean, come, come to oh, this chair. Follow the sound of my voice, Dean. Come sit on that chair over there. Paulo. Uh, Marco. 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 What? Oh, Paulo. Marco. What? Marco. Uh, oh, right oh. here. Take a seat right there, Dean. Right there. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, a little yeah. confused. Okay. Are you usually, you're usually not blind. I, I remember. Okay. Hey, okay, my camera guy's just uh, right, he's getting that... cleaned up because he's got puked on. Let's give him one second. He's going to come back. We need Joey to come back to clean up the. All right, am I good here? I'm in this position. Yeah, you look great. All right. Showed a lot of ankles, both of you guys, but it's all right. Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. Dylan. Ankles, Dylan. It's Dylan. 
Dean, come on, man. We've got to get our, our poker face here. Right? It's what the do you need? It's me. It's Dylan. It's a high level. Charity, can you explain to Dean the severity of this interview and how this is high level? It's talking about how business leaders in the city uh, really make the city what it is and stuff. I'm concerned oh, yeah. right now. Yeah, I'm so... really concerned. Rabbi, so... you're puking. Dean doesn't uh, know listen, listen, where he what? is or who Dean I am, does know where he, he is. Knows We're me. fine. We're fine. Are you All sure? Right? Yes, we are. We're a million dollar businessmen. Billion dollar businessmen. We lead this city in business. Uh, I got and four growth. towers. Exactly. If four towers. All right, let's, Watson, let's, how let's many buildings, how, let's how many buildings this, do you own? Let's get this Mr. interview Watson. going. Quick. Who's getting a phone call? Oh, hey, Carolina or another camera. Stop Not the you do. Uh, We're I'm down, down Joey until Joey's right now back. With LSBN. Um, um, let me call you back like in 20 minutes when I'm done, and then we can link up and do some shit. Okay. The That's like you got the LSBN headquarters, bro? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't even know where that is. You don't even do the interviews there? It's across the fucking house. They said they have their own set up here or some shit. I don't know. All right. Give us a talk back. All right. All right. Just say I was your bank manager and transfer him a billion dollars. Love you, baby. Give me a fuck me after this. Really hard. Okay, bye. Ah! Negative space. Oh, very hard. That Complete. Okay. All right. Let's get this interview going, guys. All right. So, Dean. We're going to Dean uh, Rami wanted me to tell you, we're, so we're here to talk about it's business in the city, you know, big businessmen, how important big yeah. businesses to the city, I, I, stuff I, I, like that. I figured uh, Dean would be Trickle a great... down economy. Exactly. Okay, you good? Are you uh, feeling uh, better after, uh... Over. Right, we're just gonna let my camera guy set up, he's yeah, yeah, gonna, gonna, he's good, gonna right? set up his... Okay, there's something... We need to see one second, he's gonna set up his noise-canceling headset and everything out, he's gonna the right, right framing. I just need you guys to make sure that your phones are made out of aluminium? No, I'm not. Come on, dude. Mr. Watson, <laughs> I'm made out of human. Yeah, like, you know, always. Just, aluminium it's is what they like call flesh, it in the yeah. UK of, you know, uh, flesh and stuff. Anyway, let's get this interview going. It's okay. Oh, Make sure you guys meet your phones. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, you got your phone, yeah, you phone check. Make sure your phone's muted. If it starts ringing during the interview, so, we're going to have to pause I got to mute my over. burner as well. Give me Mind a minute. Mute your burner. Yeah, mute your burner. Right. Dylan, can you grab this stuff? Oh, God. I looked at the screen. Oh, God. Yeah, I got you. Also, maybe put a sign up by anything? the door if Joey comes back in telling him to shut the fuck up when he comes in. Okay, yeah, hold on. Dylan, is everything all right? You seem a little stressed. Me? I'm fine. Dylan always seems stressed, honestly. It's just, you know, that's his way of being, is being stressed. Of course. That's what happens when you're in charge. Aren't you stressed a lot, Rami? I'm right. fine. I'm totally normal. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Um... All right, so, uh... Hey, one thing we have to go. make certain is that this interview does get published, correct? No matter what happens, this interview is getting published, right? I think so. No, 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 no. It will get published, correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's gonna get... It's gonna be published. Okay, cool. Let's it's do this. It's gonna be published. All right. Uh, Richie, are you good? Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're rolling. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Oh, it's okay. not getting published. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, right. You see, right. exactly. Yeah, 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 we're definitely <laughs> publishing it. We're definitely publishing it. Okay, from the top in three... Two, action. Good evening. I'm Charity Damos with LSBN. Hello. Today we're here with... All right, let me start that over. Let me start that over. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. We're going to try again. Count me in again, Dylan. Make sure you're yelling. By the way, everybody make sure you're oh, yelling. Oh, yeah, we're yelling. Everyone party. make sure you're yep, yelling, yep, yelling, yelling. Yep. I wasn't yelling. Chad, if you guys have any, okay, make sure you hit that follow button on the channel. Two, action. Good evening. I'm Charity Damos with LSBN. Today we're here with millionaire philanthropist Dean Watson and entrepreneur and self-made man Rami L. Rahman. We're here today to discuss the importance of business in our society. Hello, Dean. Hello, Rami. How are you guys doing today? How are you doing today? How are you doing today, um, Charity? I'm great. I'm doing great. Great, thanks. Oh, we have a charity? Uh, no, Dean, that's my name. My name is Charity. Right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll start off with a you know, simple question. Uh, how did you get started in business, Rami? Uh, you know, I um, just started off uh, having the vision of a ga art gallery. And, you know, um, it became what it is today. You know, a lot of people really uh, enjoyed uh, art and gems in the city. And we provided that service for them in Los Santos. And uh, here we are today. After opening up the gallery, we did VLC Fight Night. The fight club, the um, the import shop, own part of Better Life, and it became an empire. VLC, the name, the brand. How about you, Dean? How did you get started in business? Um, well, it's an interesting story, really. I uh, I inherited Burger Shop from an uncle when they passed away, 
And I, I turned Burger Shot into the empire that is Cerberus today. Um, in your opinion, what makes a good businessman, Rami? Uh, somebody who's for the people, you know, really believes in their product, uh, really that can deliver stuff to the consumer. Um, also somebody who has, uh, you know, somebody who, you know, no, okay, let me, let, let me, uh, cut this out, right? Uh, somebody, uh, like, you know, make sure you guys edit this shit. You know, somebody who could really uh, deliver their product to the people and to the consumers and, uh, handles and carries himself well and proper. Just make sure that if we say something you want to edit out, you leave like a pause after you okay, say yeah, edit yeah, that yeah. out. Sorry. Yeah, Can yeah, you just yeah. say that all okay. again? Because that confused me. Okay. Honest. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. From the top. Go it's ahead. okay. Just take a deep breath and go. Uh, you know, somebody who can deliver their product to the consumers with value and pride. Somebody who really enjoys being a businessman, carries himself properly, and really knows how to speak to people. <laughs> that was Good answer. How about fuck. you, Dean? What was the question? Sorry. <laughs> the question was, what do you think makes a good businessman? Um, someone that, you know, is, is, is hungry for success, but also knows how to delegate is, is, is really how I would uh, put it. Okay, great. How about, you know, bad business practices? Rami, what do you think would make someone a bad businessman? Oh, what would make somebody a bad businessman? Um, I don't know. Somebody who like has a scam product or uh, doesn't believe what they're selling and is only in it for the money, not the passion. Um, you know, stuff like that, you know? How about you, Dean? Um, you know, I'd, I'd say someone that... Uh doesn't have the commitment to see through uh, what they started you know <laughs> if, they, if they if they believe something in the beginning and then kind of gave up halfway and gave up on their dreams and everything around them you know that kind of stuff and you're not just a businessman yourself dean right you were part of like a whole group of businessmen called cerberus right that is correct yeah I, um initially i created an investment firm with uh, leslie Limburg. Uh, we decided to expand that to uh, to invite more people. Uh, Alang Buddha accepted our invite, and uh, while we fucked it up, and then uh, could have been the four <coughs> of us, but just the three of us. But, uh, what do you mean by Rami fucked it up? There was this whole uh, whole thing around an investment where okay, he did us a favor in the long run, but, but in the short run, he kind of got himself uninvited from Cerberus. I mean, honestly, what I heard is that, you know, Rami turned it down because Leslie was really shady because Leslie does all kinds of crazy <laughs> things like, you know, making children work in the mines oh or, you know, God, what? Yeah, I mean, crazy, right? And I mean, I've also heard a lot of people start saying things like Cerberus is like, you know, they say they're rich all the time, but, you know, they weren't even rich enough to buy the tuner shop or they bought towers. Oh. They couldn't even afford to furnish them at all. And they purchased every 3090 in the city to use for Bitcoin farming so that no one else could have one. What the f You know, I've also heard some other things too that are really crazy. Like, you know, they're whoa, buying whoa, up all the property whoa, whoa. in the city so that small businesses. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa okay, what okay. the hell? Whoa, whoa, we gotta slow this down. We gotta slow this down. Okay. okay. Whoa, where are all these allegations coming from? Yeah, where did you Honestly, get this information we, from? We, we had a source who uh, got information out of Cerberus who told us all these things. I can't, you know, say who that was because we protect our sources here at LSBN. Jesus fucking Christ. Jeez. All right, okay, we're going so, to so we're gonna go, start from the beginning. Well, yeah, that was a lot we, of yeah, what are, yeah. dissect. Yeah, go ahead. Go from the beginning. Well, go. I mean, like, what did I start with? I said that, you know, the reason Rami actually turned down joining Cerberus because Leslie was shady, right? Because Leslie uh, uses child labor in the mines. Okay. Holy okay, shit. What? I didn't know about any of this. Wait, Dean, do you know about that? Which part? <laughs> Leslie Leinberg hiring children to work in the mines. So sometimes, you know, business has to be done. You can't always help. <laughs> how it's He's done. doubling down. And uh, at the end of the day, someone very specific profited from the mining operation. Oh, fuck. So, <laughs> so you're say saying it's not false? It was endorsed from everyone involved if it was happening. <laughs> 
so since it was endorsed by everyone involved, you think it's okay for that to happen? Oh, I would never say that, no. Dean G, are you okay. telling me that you advocate for child labor in the mines? I mean, let's take a look at the mines. Who profits the most from the mines, would you say, Rami? Oh, well, I think the, the, the mechanic shops, correct? I mean, I mean, I'm not the one asking questions. I'm just, you know, I'm just, go ahead, Charity, go ahead. Oh, well, I mean, you know, just talking about the mines. And... <laughs> <clears throat> Let me start that over again. So, I mean, basically what it comes down to, though, is do you condone child labor being used in the mines? Yes or no? Does condone mean approve or? Yes, approve? condone means approve of. I do not approve of child labor. Okay. What about the rumors that uh, Cerberus is not actually as rich as they claim because they couldn't afford to do simple things like buy into the tuner shop when it was opening? The fuck? Um, I mean, <laughs> we are philanthropists. We do give away all of our money, so it's probably true. Also that you know you just bought all those fancy towers, but you don't have any money to furnish them, so they're just basically a decoration in the city? I know, but it's a good-looking decoration, right? Uh-huh. Okay, and how about, you know, is it true, though, that you've purchased every single 3090 available so you can Bitcoin farm? And so that no one else in the city can have one? See, that one I can't confirm or deny because I'm not part of the computer technology department of Cerberus. Okay, so who is? I would, I would doubt it, though, considering we're very giving people. I don't think we would keep that to ourselves. Really? Are you sure? You haven't, but if you're not part of the computer division, how do you know for sure? Maybe it's something you should look into as, you know, one of the heads of Cerberus. Okay, I can, I can take that as an action item. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, Rami, what do you think about all these things? I'm very, very startled at all these allegations. And, um, you know, I've known these guys a while and I did not even expect any of this. This is all just insane news to me. Um, the whole Leslie Lindbrick child labor is something that I really um, can't um, be around the bush on. It really, really um, pains me to see Leslie Lindbrick doing all these type of things. And really, um, you know, Leslie Lindbrick, uh, I just want to emphasize, Leslie Lindbrick really endorsing child labor is just something that I can't get behind. Something at VLC here is we don't really, uh, we don't take kindly that type of stuff, you know? So what do you think so that you, you would you go ahead you guys talk? Let's say you had a business relationship with um, this mining company. Oh fuck, fuck! Would you cut off that relationship in 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 lieu of this news? Well, the thing is, these are allegations, so we would have to see if these allegations are true or not, and then uh, we would handle business accordingly. Uh, I, you know, I think cutting off business that makes somebody money is very rarely. Uh, it's something that we shouldn't be happening. Um, I'm sure there can always be stuff that can handled. Uh, in business is business. At the end of the day, money is money. Um, but like I said, we at VLC do have morals and standards here that we would have to adhere by. And Leslie Lindbergh uh, handling and endorsing child labor is really something that I'm I'm fathomed by this, Dean. I'm surprised you aren't either. Like, this is insane to me. Well, you know, sometimes in this line of work, you come across allegations <laughs> that you just, you, you kind of get used to it and then you kind of go find out the truth. And then half the time you realize it's true. But at that point, you know, the world stopped caring. So, right. So it's like, it's like one week, Lazy Lemonbreaker gets canceled. And then the next week, everybody forgets about him because somebody else is getting canceled. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Charity, but, you know, I, back again, to you. I think we're all. <laughs> We're well, all against child labor, especially at Cerberus, and um, if there was any proof of this stuff, we would we take it very seriously. Of course. I really think we have to, um, really, um, the DIC of the city really needs to investigate Leslie Lindbergh on these allegations and claims of child, supporting child labor in the mine. Have you approached a representative from DIC to ask them to look into it yet? I'm just hearing about these allegations now. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, I will not. That's not my business. I, I stay in my own lane. 
I, I see. I think okay. once this interview comes out, uh, you know, questions will be raised and all that. And I really hope uh, Cerberus Enterprises is, is ready for this. Uh, for this, I, I think Dean's handling this pretty well. Um, on the other hand, Leslie Lingbrig will have questions to answer, and I'm looking forward to the interview you have with him, Charity. Well, so far what we know is that Cerberus may or may not be condoning child labor, but Dean Watson as <laughs> individual does not. Do children work in the mines? Is that why we never see children in the city? You'll just have to tune in to find out what we do. So, um, you have other allegations as well? well let's go into these questions, uh, Charity. All right, do you want to go into these other questions too? Sure, I'm Let's good for see. it, Dean. Are you good for it? Uh, I, I guess so. All right, cool. Let's get into this. All right, because like we can, we can honestly go back and edit this in any order we want to. So even like Rami, right, if you right, think right, of something right. that you know you might just want to say. Of Okay. Let's let's talk on the one you only briefly got to mention it, but uh, real organically go into the one about purchasing up uh, 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 properties. Do that one. Okay. All right, we'll try that one. Yeah. It seems like you guys just mm -hmm. are really harping at Dean here. I mean, I did. If, if I knew this was going to be an ambush journalist interview, I wouldn't have done this interview. I'm really sorry this well, is happening. Right. That's. Uh, I mean, you know. I mean, that's our. But I mean, style. you did say we still okay. have to publish it no matter what happens. So okay. you know, I mean, it's it, out there no. now. It happens. When you roll so. with a lesbian, things might get a little rough. Okay. Right. We can always. Because you know, know sometimes right. when we when we when we find things out, we need to investigate them. Okay. Right? And so. And okay. This is the time to do it, really. In an interview, you said you said we absolutely had to publish. Of course, we can't be buried if you tell us to publish it. Okay. All right. Um, All right. So let's yeah, let's talk do about. We gotta do right, Dean. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can always you know put a press release out. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. From the top, question about properties in three, two, action. There have been a lot of small businesses that haven't been able to get construction on their buildings. Some people think it's because Cerberus has been buying up all the properties so that they can't get any. What do you have to say about Jesus that, Dean? Um, I would say the money makes money. Opportunity makes opportunity. So Thank basically you. what you're saying is what you're saying. You know, is Charity, that, you I, know, on the other hand, I really don't endorse this uh, monopoly oil tycoon type um, statue that Cerberus has and their motto that they support. Uh, I've always been an advocate for uh, small businesses, um, you know, Bullet Club. Um, you know, I, I have a WeWork building in my in the gallery. Um, really, really always trying to hone on supporting small businesses. We have businesses deals always lined up with, you know, uh, the food spots, stuff like that. Um, you know, I just, I can't get around this and I can't, something VLC doesn't support. <laughs> I just like to mention that, um, the Cerberus Business Center will be opening up fairly soon and we will be offering office space at a very low next to nothing cost for those businesses in the city that can't quite afford a place in the city themselves. <laughs> That honestly sounds pretty generous. If you ask me, a lot of places could do just great with an office space without having a whole building. Exactly. And that exactly is why we have that open office space at the gallery charity. And that's, you know, listen to all you guys that out there looking at this interview. Uh, and you guys have a small business and want, you know, an office out of somewhere that is a lively business uh, like VLC in the gallery come through and, you know, we can work something out and really get you guys to Excel. Okay. Also, I have a follow-up question here. You know, you guys came in here dressed awfully alike. I feel like, Dean, maybe you're copying Rami's sense of style over here. Is that true? <laughs> uh, there have been allegations of that in the past, and um, I do look up to Rami as a businessman, and I think that to look like your idols is, is just a compliment to them. You know, uh... And I, I thank you, Dean. You know, Dean Watson and I, we have done business a lot together. Uh, we're very, very, very good friends. Um, never been bad blood between us. We've always been real and true to each other. Um, I think today we walked into this interview with the same mindset as to fuck shit up. And, uh, you know, here we are today, you know, dressed exactly the same. We came in together and that's how bosses do things. You know what I'm saying? Dean, would you ever call Rami daddy? Yes. I as well, Miss Charity. I as well. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes. <laughs> I, 
honestly did not expect that answer. Do you have any other Great. props for me, Dylan? Uh, I don't have any props for you. Rami, is there anything else you'd like to cover? I mean, if I've, or Mr. Watson, is there any notes you guys would like to throw in? We have a um, good. I mean, I think we uh, should really dive into these allegations. Is there any other allegations you guys have? We have, we have, we have so many. Uh, okay. What, uh, let's get into it. Then, you I, know, that's what we're here for. Honestly, that, obviously, the obvious one that Mr. Watson probably, you know, that a lot of people have been saying this. He may or may not actually be donating money to orphans with alopecia. We could ask him about that. Uh, I think we should really get into the allegations. Let's get into that. Okay. I mean, we Which can always we... go with the oldie but goodie, the burger shot human meat question. Okay. Okay. I think we dive into it. <clears throat> All right. Go All right, for let's it. Try that. Burger shot human right. meat in three, two, action. Dean, you talked uh, give me about a sec. how give me you a sec. opened up. Ah! Okay. Dean, uh, okay. okay. Cut. Cut. Dean, did you take your Cut. medicine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just going to make sure I take my medication here. Real quick. <clears throat> are you... Please point the other direction. Uh, Sorry. Low blood pressure. These are just sugar pills, you know? Uh huh, uh huh, sugar pills, yep. Yep. All right, ready? Are you good now, Rami? Uh, correct, correct, I'm good. All right, perfect. All right, burger shot allegations, count me in, please. Three, two, human meat. Dean, you talked about how your business leading started with burger shot. There's a lot of rumors going around the city that burgers at burger shot are made with human meat. What do you think about those allegations? I don't judge people on what they enjoy eating. Thank you. So you have no problem with the idea that, you know, your burgers may, you know, be filled with human meat? If a customer comes and requests a special burger, we try our best to accommodate it. Comes don't matter how, no matter where the meat comes from? Look, we used perfectly sourced organic meat across the board. Thank you. Also, there's been some allegations as well that Leslie Lindbergh scammed autos, and that's why, you know, autos is kind of turning into a dead business. Oh Do you know anything about God. that? How Leslie, Leslie might have scammed autos? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> um, why don't you ask Otto that question if you ever see him? Hmm. You know, I don't know if I've ever actually met Otto. Have you ever met Otto Rami? What no, do you know but about I'm it? charity once again to the people out there watching LSB, and I really just all these allegations about Leslie Lingberg really uh I don't know. I just don't know. Um to the folks out there wondering how can you support a businessman like Leslie Lingberg, I just I'm asking the same questions with you to the people out there eating your dinner at nine uh nine o'clock or sorry, coming home from your nine to five eating dinner with your family watching this interview uh and supporting a millionaire like Leslie Lingenberg I just don't know how we can do it I don't I don't know I think we really need to ask Leslie Lingenberg these questions and um to the Americans out there and to all the people of Los Santos I'm with you on this one come to VLC we don't do these Rami, if, things. Um, <laughs> if, 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 if these allegations were true and and we decided that we had to remove Leslie from Cerberus would you would you reconsider joining you know, that's something that I would have to talk amongst my team uh, over here at VLC. Uh, you know, Vulture Culture is our enterprise in itself. Uh, like I said, we own multiple businesses more than Leslie Lingberg. Um, now, I, uh, I'm i really looking forward to seeing what the outcome of all this is. And that's something that uh, me, my team and your team could uh, discuss in the future. Okay. Well, make sure you let me know when we can have that meeting because... I'm busy with business con and CEO con and stuff coming up, so. Yeah, of course, of course. Like I said, uh, yes. You know, we've, I'm really busy, uh, really busy with signing these multi-million dollar deals as well. And uh, I don't have time to go to these conventions. Um, but uh, yeah, when you come back from business con, let me know and uh, we could talk about it. Um, I think we need to really, we're getting off topic here and really need to go back to Leslie Lingberg. Go ahead, Charity, back to you. <laughs> Back to me. How do you feel about allegations that Leslie Lindbergh is in league with the rat army who's trying to take out all the cats in the city? <laughs> what did you say? No! There's a whole rat army in the city trying to take out all the cats. Did you know about that, Dean? 
I did meet a peculiar rat one time. Also, there's I mean, a video I... on LSBN, I guess. Yeah, he held me hostage so that I would interview him. He told me a whole lot of stories about a cat conspiracy and a rat army. And, and we're saying know... that Leslie is in cahoots with this rat? Yeah, it's possible. Did you feel that connection during that interview? Not really. Look, Dean, I'm trying to come up with allegations against Leslie, okay? So just go with it. If Leslie is involved with the, the war against the cats, I would like to say that I am totally against that, and I will deal with that myself by feeding Leslie to my panther. Wow. Harsh word. <clears throat> bounce, it, bounce it to Rami, I guess. Ask Rami. Rami. If... Rami Dylan. Rami. I'm so Rami. sorry. Yeah, Rami. Okay. Okay. What do you think I should ask? How do you feel about the impending surge of the rat army coming to destroy all cats in the city, Rami? Uh, well, if the allegations are, well, if the allegations. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Link the link the whole question, I guess, to Leslie. Say, you know, uh, the impending oh, okay, okay, rat okay. army yeah. potentially led, or okay. in cahoots with Leslie Lindbergh, okay. something like that. Okay. 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 All right. Go for it. All right. How about you, Rami? How do you feel about the idea that Leslie Lindbergh is in cahoots with an army of rats coming to destroy every cat in the city? You know, I, uh, there's so much to say about Leslie Lindbergh. You know, I look at him as a good friend, a business colleague. Um, these allegations that you've brought to light at this interview to Dean Watson and I, they're very breathtaking. Uh, it's something that I just don't understand how I can get wrap my head around. And this allegation is one of the, is, is blasphemy. A rat army, you know, I don't defend Leslie Lindbergh on a lot of things, um, but I don't see it in him to defend a rat army and taking over the world or whatever the hell this is. Leslie Lindbergh, if this is true, as I look at you in the camera, Leslie Lindbergh, as you're watching this interview, if this stuff is true about you, my friend, I don't know you could show your face to the city ever again this is something that you might have to leave town buddy uh unfortunately leslie i didn't expect you to be this much of a businessman i mean I, he is a rat in terms of business charity you know but that's just opinion but to support an actual rat army I, I don't know about that one charity you know what i mean dean you feel me on that one <laughs> yeah i think um i think everyone can agree on that point back to you charity I, I'm just honestly I thought of the rat because that was like one of the last things I did so let me see hmm. do you guys feel like we have done enough for this interview so far do you want to add more to it I mean I think we're all I'm good uh Dean is there any I, I mean it's on Dean I know there's a lot of allegations is, that got this, thrown it was is this kind interview of it. just for the delegations or are we having some some I thought I was here to promote. Did you want to do? We could do more business talk if you'd right, like to. Right, we can promote. I'm down to promote VLC and Sir Bruce. Let's end this on a good note. Okay. Yeah. It's already right. been a pretty heated interview. We're gonna do. We're gonna wrap. We're gonna wrap the interview with a, a couple more questions with Sir Bruce. We'll get it all in the right order in editing. But and then uh, before you guys leave, before you guys even get up, we're gonna do a couple of things just for coverage. Okay. 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 Cool. Awesome. So uh, get into some get into some business questions. Um, okay. You know, maybe, 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 Charity, if you could ask either of them what they would maybe recommend to somebody starting their own investment firm or, uh, you know, an entrepreneur, right? Or starting their own business the or, okay, yep. yeah, 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 that type of shit, right? That they might be yep. able to answer. All right, go for it. Three, Perfect. two, action. Rami, do you have any advice for someone just starting out their own business that would help them become as successful as you? Yes, yes. Um, You know, Here's how I look at it, right? We all woke up in this city with, you know, zero dollars in our bank account. And, you know, we are who we are today, correct? Um, you have to have the vision. You have to be uh, persevering, inspiring. Um, you have to, you know, really have the vision that you're going to be that motherfucker in terms of business. Now, you, if you have a good product that you can sell to the city, um, you know, bring it to the town hall. See if you can get it approved to a business. Then you can come to people like Dean Watson and myself. And maybe we can help... Um, put your business on a pedestal and really get it into throughout the city. Um, uh, I think if you take the proper steps into actually uh, promoting your business and developing business connections, there is uh, there is a market for that in the city. You have to have the passion and the vision. Um, and like I said, you know, there's 
investment groups like Vulture La Culture Investments. Uh, you know, you have Cerberus. There's also uh, CGI, uh, a new investment company in the city. Um, and, you know, people like that will be able to help you uh, expand your business and grow it and really plateau it as well. How about you, Dean? Any advice for new small business owners? Yes. Um, I would say that I would not go to an investment firm that says they are going to plateau your business. The definition of plateau, okay. as I recall, is a state of little or no change following a period of activity or progress. At Cerberus, we believe that everyone should be okay. given a chance okay. to rise. Okay. Get to the top of the mountain. And we'll give you every little help we can to get there. Uh, I like to, you know, go back to that um, and really correct myself on that. When I meant plateau, I mean, we're going to put it on a whole new plateau. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to, uh, we're not going to plateau the business that textbook dictionary. I meant we're going to put it on a whole new level, a whole new platform. Um, and, you know, you know, there are some failures that have been at Cerberus charity there, you know, PDM, you know, the mines, uh, Leslie Lingberg. You know, here at Vulture Culture, you know, we don't do that kind of stuff. We you know we really like to put your businesses on a pedestal and really get it into the city. <laughs> How do you think your business investments help the people of the city? Uh, is that for me or Dean? Either one. You can start, Rami. Dean, go ahead. Starting with you. Can we just right, Dean can start this one. Yeah, run, run the yes. From the top. You I the question again. Do you want me to Dylan start with Dean that time? Yeah, Dylan, talk. I'll start with Dean this time since we always start with Rami. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah, go. Dean, how do you feel your business investments help the people of the city? Um, so at Cerberus, we, we look at money as a way to give opportunity. Um... I feel like we give fair opportunity to most people to come and uh, come and talk to us or look for investment. A lot of the times, you know, we get we we hear the same thing, but every now and then we hear a gem in the rough. <laughs> okay. And, uh, we'll, we'll throw money at it. We don't necessarily look for a return. Okay. But we like to uh, okay. make sure that those people that need it can afford the. Uh, Okay. For the uh, the necessary requirements to get their business off the ground, and then it's on them to see if they can succeed. Thank you. How about you, Rami? Same question. Can you repeat it? Yeah. How do your business investments help the people of the city? Oh, how do my business investments help people in the city? Well, Charity, let me answer that to you. Also for the people over at LSBN and the viewers. Um, my business uh, and all my business investments really do help the city. Um, for example, we have Better Life Pharmacy, pharmaceuticals. Uh, it's for which the people. Which is for the people. Okay. You know, I own 45% uh, of that business alongside Raymond Romanoff, who is the uh, majority owner. Uh, <laughs> it's a, a pharmaceutical company that helps with... Give me a second, Charity. I have to get a drink of water here. You're good. <laughs> Dude, this guy's dumb as fuck. <laughs> this guy, this guy's dumb. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, as I was saying, if you know, Better Life Pharmaceuticals is a business that we really—it's uh, for the people. You know, we—it uh, gives out med kits and prescription uh, antibiotics for people who have issues. Uh, you know, health issues. Um, we also. It's, it's very affordable. It's not high costs like products over at PDM and uh, casino and stuff like that. Um, you know, we also uh, own the gallery, which is for the people as well. You know, sometimes when you're fishing and hunting, you get gems and stuff. And we over at the gallery will appraise those gems and really give you your money's worth at the gallery for these gems. Uh, we also sell rings for, that help you in your quality of life. You know, it helps you with a lot of other things as well. 
Uh, we also do vulture culture imports. Um, say you can't afford a car at these high end uh, and uh, scam car import shops such as PDM. Uh, we offer affordable uh, costs and we really have uh, hand on user experience. Uh, we, if you have a car that you're in looking for the market for, we will try to get that for you. Um, over at PDM, you don't get that type of uh, user experience and customer satisfaction. Uh, you know, we just we like to invest and we like to expand and help people re uh, live those dreams as well. All right. That sounds good. Do you guys want to keep going? Do you have any like? Bro, I just made up a bunch you of bullshit. Do you really like to see me ask? <laughs> um, not that I can think of. I, I think uh, I'm kind of. I'm I'm okay. Still trying to come up with these allegations. Basically, to be honest. You're right, Charity. Uh, I I agree with Dean as well. I'm really uh, breathtaking and um, really flabbergasted at these. Leslie Lingberg uh, allegations. I don't know how he's going to be able to answer all these. This is really all at once. It's kind of too much for me. And, uh... Sorry, Charity. I just really... I don't know why Leslie would do this type of things. You know what I mean? It's okay, Rami. Just cry it out. I it's just, okay. I don't know. Les, I don't know how he's going to be able to answer all this. I'm really worried about him. And these are serious stuff. I don't know how Dean really doesn't understand how to really... I don't know how Dean doesn't know about any of this stuff. You know, I thought Cerberus stood for better, for more. <laughs> it's, it's, it's some shocking revelations, <laughs> I will tell you. Well, I mean, hopefully we can get to the bottom of them and prove that, you know, they're all false and not true. Well, one of them's definitely true. Which one? Are we rolling? We're always rolling. We're always rolling. We, we fix we're anything in post. We're, done, we're right. good. We're good. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're done. You're good. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Just so real quick. <sighs> sorry. That was to, really. Um... <sighs> sorry. I need a minute, guys. I'm really sorry about this. It's okay. Everything do you want fine. me to do another outro while we're all sitting here? Uh, yeah, hit us with the outro. Get us with the uh, I've Been Charity Demos with uh, Dean Watson and Robbie L. Robin, uh, or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Yep, Names, right. LSBN, yep, go. Yep. This has been Charity Demos with Robbie L. Robin and Dean Watson, and this is LSBN. No, wait, let me do that again because I should say this has been. I want to do it again because I should have said this has been LSBN. All right, all right, bet. Go ahead. I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. All then right, we're going right, to take right, a couple right, of right. things for coverage so we can let these guys go. Yep, all right, yep. Ready? All right. All right. You're not counting, right? So I, just I wasn't counting. I was just going to let you go. I was, I was making just sure. Ready. I just okay, didn't okay, want okay, you to okay. interrupt me. Okay. okay, go. This has been Charity Damos with Ramiel Rahman and Dean Watson. And this has been LSBN. Thank you, Charity. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, no problem, guys. Okay, so. Thank you, Charity. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Just some... Charity, I want to I really appreciate and thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you for the time. Yeah, no problem, Charity, guys. Charity, this has been phenomenal. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thanks, Rami. <laughs> Can I get a copy of this? Yes, yes. We'll make sure that you guys uh, get copies of the final edit. Um, real quick, just for coverage, mm -hmm. I, I just need you guys to say some stuff by yourself separately. So, Rami, if you could say uh, for me, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You're good. Yeah, just the same tone. Yeah, just go for it. Just go. Yeah. 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 But do it when Dylan's not talking. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Wait, hold okay, on. Why, why, why do you want me to do that? You guys are gunshots right now. Why do you, uh, no. Why do you want me to do that? What? Coverage. So these are all for coverage, right? Just just in case we lost anything, we got to make sure we get no, no, good, no, no, crisp, no. I don't want. Stuff. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Wait, have you not done one of these interviews before? Have you not no, done one of these interviews no, before? No, 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 no. Uh, it's coverage. I don't feel comfortable with all that. I, I really, I think we really handled the the, um, the interview uh, very good. And um, yeah, I think I think, okay. I think I don't think I think with the proper editing over here, it's been we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah, that's part of it, right? Okay. It's just for coverage, just real quick. I can do I'm my good. coverage. I'm I'm good. Good. I have like Dean two. Can do you his, want to do your coverage? And, yeah. You can do yours. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, if you could just say, bro, they're gonna edit the shit out of never. that. Never. Never. Oh hell no! What? What? Huh? Huh? Wow, that's terrible to hear. Um. Wow. No, no, that's no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck is going on here, Dylan? This is coverage. I'm sorry, we're just coverage. Dylan, no, we're not Have doing that. Have you seriously that. not done an interview? No, 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 don't, no, no, really no, 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 Did Dylan, you see my interview on? Dylan, if ask that, Randy, ask Randy if he did coverage Dylan, for his interview. Dylan, if that interview, interview did coverage too. Dylan, I'm gonna tell you this once: the footage is gonna be raw and unedited. You want it to be professional? Well, it can't be raw. Well, it's gonna edited, be edited because right? we did it out of order. We got, okay, well, yeah, I don't want. I want it to be raw. I don't want it to be. Some bullshit. I'll give it to you raw. This I'll is give very, it to you raw. This interview needs to get out. This is in, this is insane. These allegations Look, that you brought charity to the table are very serious. I will get it out and I will give it to you raw. You just gotta trust me. I don't. I don't really. No, I don't. I don't right now, Dylan. I'm really sorry. I don't trust you right now. You've been sketchy from the know, start. I don't, You've been sus. You, I don't know what you. I don't. I know. Okay. I've been feeling this, this is turned on cool me. Cool The I part of the process. He does just part he of the process. Coverage for his interview for the most wanted. Uh, well, that's that's Randy Bullet. No, that's not me. This is how I well, I, 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 but I mean, as a reference, you can see how his interview went. We also did coverage, right? So it, it's not, it doesn't do anything. This interview, These I, are all... Dylan, I'm not doing this with you, Dylan. All right? I'm not getting anything this else. Is how we this, covered, we the, got we, it. What you filmed is what's going to be put out. Okay. This doesn't need to be this many edits. It was pretty clean. I'm not giving, okay. You're, you know what? You're right. You're starting we'll to upset me, that. Dylan. I'm paying big I money said, here. We're, we, yeah, I said we're scratching it. I don't even know. They didn't even give me a quote. Why did you pay for this? I thought we was invited. We were. But then I, I appreciate, you know, I support small businesses, Dean, unlike what you said in the interview. LSBN right. is like the biggest business in the city. What are you talking about? I'm supporting businesses. What can I? All right, well, I won't pay them then. Fuck them. Listen, Dylan, if this huh? shit gets changed up, there's going to be fucking problems. All right? This Look, interview I'm went gonna, pretty crazy. I'm going to slide. You guys want the views on the, the LSBN? Content, gotta... I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it to you before I release it. Okay. okay. You can approve it right okay. there in my office Perfect. with okay. me sitting in front of you. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. I want Dean there as well when we do that. Absolutely. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Is it still rolling? Well, for coverage. Okay. Awesome. I think we're good though. I mean, you guys really banged out of the park. I think we covered everything. Thank you. Richie, okay. if you're if you're if you're confident yeah, with did everything. Did you get um did you get close ups of just them talking for cuts? I sure or, did. Uh... I sure did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you've got enough of that, then uh, then we should be fine. All right. Oh, Charity. I think we're good. I'm really I'm I'm fucking Thanks guys. Thanks. I'm taking back really these allegations against Leslie Lingenberg and Cerberus. I did not expect this. I'm really Dean, I'm really sorry. This was more of like an ambush journalistic interview. I didn't, I don't support this type of stuff. You I know, mean, you know yeah. that. I mean, you know, That's any publicity is good publicity, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, I figured since you guys said that it was going to get published no matter what, it was my just chance Dean, to, you know, I, uh, Dean, I really, that Leslie Lemonberg has to answer for these. I think you guys should set up yeah, an I'm interview sure Leslie for Leslie. I'm sure happy to uh, sit, okay. sit down and talk about them. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, we'll let them do their thing and we'll see you guys soon, right? Hey, uh, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It, went, it went great. Yeah, Shit, Leslie. Cold, man. Bro, Leslie's gonna fucking... You know about that about Leslie, Dean? What well, I knew about the, knew oh, about the well. child job. labor, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, I mean, you're the one profiting off him, Rami. Don't look at me. Bro, how am I supposed to know? I didn't know Leslie supports that shit. Oh, uh, are you gonna shut it down now, you know? No, Rami? hell no, hell yeah. I need the money, bro. That's what I'm fucking for. Yeah, that's what I'm for. Yeah. Damn. I just... I don't really. This is gonna make Leslie look really bad. He might lose businesses. They might cancel yeah. him for them. They might cancel him for well, this, Dean. I'm sure he can uh, get a publicist or something. He might have to go into like hiring. A, he for might have it. to do like a press conference and shit. You know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eddie just called me once. Yeah.